Okay, so here's the um, Air Hog, the Battle Tracker. Uh, this is the missile launcher bot, and um, I hooked in a M connector so that you can um, power this thing without without batteries if you want. So um, go to Radio Shack, got a converter, enter cell, three to twelve volt DC goes up to an amp, selectable. Make sure you get the right fitting for the M connector. Test it out in the store. Um, this one has a reversible head on it. This head is extra. It didn't come with this. So you can accidentally flip this and uh, cause a problem. So I just taped them. Taped it on right there too. Um, if you, I just put it on the side here. Drill the hole. Just flip the whole thing over. Take the guts out. Just three screws. And you'll see that uh, there is um, that M connector looks just like this. Here's the same connector, just a, an old one that I ruined on the first time. So just um, when you put it in, understand which one's positive and negative, and um, and which one is the return voltage on this model. We'll call this this little guy the the nine o'clock because if you look at it down the axis it's 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 nine o'clock position. Let's see if I can get this in here. So nine o'clock is positive, twelve o'clock is negative, and this is the negative as well. This leg here um, will activate or deactivate based off of if there's a if this little guy goes into it. So if you put a plug into it, it will shut off or turn on. So this one goes to your red, which is right here. Just a jumper, go walk through. So that goes to your nine o'clock and all of them are different. So you have to just check your polarity by testing it. And um, so again, these two are negative legs here. So you just have to determine well, which one do you take to put the battery and which one do you take to take to the the unit, the, the power cable. So inside here, you'll see this, I removed the, the cable that was already on there, which is a, a, a right here, has a little resistor on it. So you can see it's kind of green. I removed, desolder that from the battery and took another jumper, ran it up that dark, that solid black one, ran it up. And that's going to the three o'clock. The high noon, the twelve o'clock lead here is going to the actual device. So there's a green wire. I just made the twelve a green wire coming off, and that goes um, inside back to the device. So now you don't have to use batteries, and uh, but you can still. So once you, um, if you don't plug anything into this. It will just run off of batteries if you have them in here. But once you plug this transformer into it, um, it will um, no longer allow this post. It will take this post only. And this post is the one running, the high noon, running to the green, running to the device. So now these two are active. This one is uh, not active. It's taking the voltage from the battery, but it's not going anywhere because it's getting shut off after you plug it in. So try it out and you can do the same thing. I did the same thing for the remote. So you have a nice little spot to plug it all in and, and um, uh, you probably need batteries in this if you're gonna use the air hog um, controller but I mainly, I mainly use it to charge so it sucks six batteries which is a pain to charge that that little guy. So if you if you just use it as a charger, then you unplug it and then um, you can put your batteries in, or you can use the AirHog Link. It's a fits into your iPhone, your iPad, or whatnot, and it um, you don't even need the controller to, to, to control the unit. You just use this as a charging station, but it's still nice to have as a backup um, and and to, to to use to charge rather than taking all the guts apart. But that's it. So hopefully this helps.